This video is about how to convert one of these cheap pound store or dollar store solar LED lights into the power source for an electric slug or snail fence. So what is an electric slug fence? Well it's basically just an electrical barrier to prevent slugs or snails from reaching your plants and eating them. The idea is that you surround the plants with two parallel bare electrical wires and connect them to a low voltage power source. The low voltage use means it's completely safe for children, pets and other wildlife. Slugs and snails however are very sensitive to electricity and if they try and cross the wires they will receive a shock as you can see in this video clip. To modify the solar light we are going to need a few other parts. Firstly M4 stainless steel screws, washers and nuts. eBay is a good place to obtain these. M4 crimp ring terminals, stranded copper wire and lastly an electrolytic capacitor. I used a 1000 microfarad 16 volt device but the value is not critical and it will even function without the capacitor. First unclip the top and then unscrew the two retaining screws. You can see the LED and on off switch poking through the base plate. Then you can lever out the base plate. Try not to pull on the wires because they can become detached. The battery is held in with a couple of clips. And the same with the printed circuit board, but they are quite stiff. The black blob you can see there is the chip on board device. It controls the light. It's basically an integrated circuit without any plastic packaging. And so it's covered with resin for protection. The next job is to unsolder the cathode side of the LED. Now you can find that by looking for a flat edge on the rim of the LED. Now I'm using a solder sucker to remove the solder and then remove the lead from the hole. Prepare a length of insulated wire and tin it ready to solder into the PCB. Insert the wire into the PCB hole where we removed the LED lead and then solder it in place. Prepare another length of insulated wire and wrap it around the free lead on the LED. Solder it. And cover with heat shrink tubing. Now we need to get both wires and the LED through the hole in the base plate. Make sure the PCB and the switch are aligned correctly. The battery clips back in. And so does the printed circuit board. Screw the base plate back on and then check the light still works by connecting the two wires together. I have soldered two insulated wires to the electrolytic capacitor and covered the joints with heat shrink tubing. The stripe on the side of the capacitor indicates its negative side and this is going to connect to the wire soldered into the PCB. So strip both wires, twist them together and then crimp on a ring terminal. Now we need to do exactly the same thing with the other two wires so that stripping the wire connected to the positive side of the electrolytic capacitor and the wire connected to the LED twisting them together and crimping on a ring terminal. The next job is to drill two 4.1mm holes in the transparent section of the case.
Now we're going to install an M4 screw and washer through the ring terminal, through the case, and then tighten it up with another washer and nut. And the same thing again for the second M4 screw and washer. Pass it through the ring terminal, then through the second hole in the case, and then tighten it up with another washer and nut. The reason for using the button head screws becomes more obvious now as the hex key makes it much easier to tighten them. So now I'm going to add some additional washers and nuts and also some ring terminals to connect to the wire fence. And finally, reassemble the case. Once that's done, switch it on and connect the slug fence to the ring terminals. At night time when the slugs are active, you'll get six or seven volts across the slug fence and that should keep them at bay. So this has been quite a long video, so I'm gonna make a second video that deals with building the slug fence itself and some technical information about how the solar light works. So please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a look around at some of my other videos and thanks for watching.